So lamb meatballs are very Israeli. I think we all think of that. And so is baba ganoush. I love making eggplant pesto dips. Uh, I thought we'd mellow it out a little bit by roasting some garlic. Cut off the head here. Set your oven to 400 degrees. Salt. Olive oil. Healthy amount. And fold that up. Give it a twist. Goes in the oven. 45 minutes. We're gonna make our baba ganoush. We're just gonna cut them in half lengthwise. And uh, when you see that there are not a whole lot of seeds, that means that there's not a whole lot of bitter. Less seeds, less bitter. More seeds, more bitter. And now we can take these guys and put them under the broiler. High heat, skin side up, so they catch on fire. But keep the door shut so that the garlic roasts as well. Okay. So now we're gonna make some lamb meatballs. The very first thing we wanna do is take some currants. They're like small raisins. They're dried. It tastes a lot like raisins. And what we wanna do is just put them in hot water so that they reconstitute, so they don't pull the moisture out of the lamb meat. We wanna keep the lamb meatballs moist, obviously. And this is how we do it. Now we're gonna make the spice rub for the lamb meatballs. A tiny bit of curry powder, some paprika, just a little bit of cumin seed, and some garlic. Once you begin grinding that up, you'll smell it right away. It's just, the curry smells great with the raw garlic, and all of these things go well with lamb. So, let's add our fine paste to our ground lamb meat. Here are our currants. They've been soaking in warm water for a little while. If you eat one, you can feel a the difference. They're way more moist. So let's get rid of the water. And just keep the currants. A little more salt. A little more pepper. Just a little bit of cilantro. All right, get in there, mix it around. We've got curry powder, paprika, salt, pepper, raw garlic, reconstituted currants, cilantro, paprika. It's amazing. Now you just wanna make sure that the mixture is throughout. Again, those spices smell so great. My advice on making meatballs is make them smaller than you think. I think big meatballs are gross. Golf balls, perfect size. So now we put the meatballs in the refrigerator while we finish our baba ganoush. Yeah, we can see that the tops of the skins, there's a burning smell. It's fabulous. And these are ready to go. Don't forget, we're still roasting that garlic in there. Put our fork on the other side and scoop out. That is nice roasted eggplant, and this is garbage. Spoon across, comes right out, really. Comes right out. And all this delicious flesh is excellent. Gorgeous. Beautiful. I think it's probably a good time to check on that garlic. It's been in there the whole time that we were cooking these eggplant and making those meatballs. Oh yeah, that garlic smells great. Here's our eggplant. We can just go straight into the food processor with it. A lovely thing happened. A lot of the liquid has separated, so let's use a fork rather than pour it in to leave that liquid behind. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I know, I know, I know. Okay, all right. 
Now we're gonna squeeze these cloves right out, which is lovely, because you don't have to peel it. Our garlic cloves go into our roasted eggplant mixture. Oh, I highly recommend eating one of these. So let's put a little bit of salt. Squeeze a little bit of lemon. Let's take our meatballs back out. So now we're gonna pulse. We're gonna add tahini, which is sesame paste. That's perfect on the tahini. You gotta add a little more salt and a little more lemon. Catching the seeds with my hand. I'm confident that's gonna be great. Olive oil. So we can load our meatballs in, one at a time, or three at a time, and just lightly saute them in olive oil. Let's get these flipped over so they're good. Oh yeah, make sure you cook them on all sides. Nice caramelization, gorgeous. Let's put this on low and just let these bake 